Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining in. We are playing Eckhole tonight. So four card majors, uh, weak no trump, stamen and transfers. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what have we got here? That's a pretty good hand to start with. 14, 15, 16, 18 high card points and North has opened the bidding. Awesome. So I'm going to go slow here. No uh, in one speed nothing fancy and this is great because you know we're going to game slam I don't know what we're doing but by bidding one speed uh, it's the best thing I can do it gives North the maximum room to describe his hand and he bids two diamonds so North has five hearts and four diamonds If he had four hearts and four diamonds, he would have either opened a no trump or rebid no trump. So even though I'm playing Ackle, I know North's got five hearts and four diamonds. And what did we say we had there? 14, 16, 18. So we're in the 30 point range. I don't, there's good things about the hand. I like the ace king of hearts. I like the king queen of diamonds and partner's suit. The fact that I've only got the Queen of Spades and North suit might be good. Um, what we do here, here is a problem in that um, we don't have any sophisticated way on Skybridge Club to do anything further. Now, if I was playing in some established partnership here, maybe I'd bid three clubs as the fourth suit and then go back to hearts to show a strong hand, but I'm a bit stuck. So I'm actually just going to bid four hearts. Bit of an underbid, I know, but it's pretty balanced. We might miss a slam here, but that's seldom a bad thing. Uh, and we have in D15, we missed a grand slam, probably. Okay, so we're well and truly underbid here. I know uh, you, you're probably all thinking, what am I doing? Why, why am I so conservative? Probably right. Uh, what have we got? Um, and yeah, we're a bit stuck. I mean, we just don't have any sophisticated thing I could do. Yeah, I could have just gone up and bid six hearts. I think that would have been reasonable. But I just went the conservative way and we have ended up making 13 tricks. Okay. What do you think the score will be? What do you think my percentage score will be on this hand? Uh, now, I, it won't be above 50 because everybody's going to be in game. So the only question is how many people are going to be in a slam or a grand slam. My guess, what, what's your guess, David? What's your guess? Susan, another Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh, SB, Terence, Therese, Rhonda, Dawn, SB, Q from Star Trek. Q from Star Trek records, I'm getting 6%. I think I'm getting more. I'm going to go for 25% because I suspect, yeah, I'm going for 25. 34. Okay, 34%. Why, why are we getting such a, bad, a good score for missing such an easy slam? Well, that's what happens. <laughs> so seven players bid seven no trumps. That's good going. And, uh, you know, there are a few. There's just not that many. There's a lot of, there's a lot of players didn't bid game, didn't bid slam, which is really no surprise. Um, I'm not kind of surprised about that. The lesson is that we don't, it's, it's not, it's seldom a disaster to miss out on a slam. You know, I, I clearly missed out on it. I clearly underbid. But missing out on a slam is seldom the disaster you think it might be. Okay, one pass pass, one to Trump, two diamonds. Well, I'm going to double. Now, the way the 
here's another uh, system thing. With your partner, you may choose to play negative doubles after your partner's opened the no trump. So for many players, one no trump, two diamonds double would be takeout. The way the uh, computer is set up to play is that uh, after one no trump from partner, any bid the opposition make double as penalties. So there's no right or wrong. It's just two different ways you can do it. And computer plays, if I double here, is penalties, and I'm going to double. It's not that I'm, you know, it's a bit borderline. Partner may, you know, has only got around 13 points. But the problem is that if I defend two diamonds and it makes, I'm probably going to get a bad score anyway. So I might as well double, and if it goes down, that's great. I've, you know, I've got a, got the diamond sitting over east, and north has got at least two diamonds, so can't be terrible. Now I'm just going to make a uh, you. I'm just going to make a safe lead here. I don't want to give anything away. I'm not going to lead a diamond. That would be silly. I don't. I could lead a club, but I'm just going to lead a heart as a safe lead. I hope. And North wins the Ace of Hearts. That's not so good, unfortunately. So East has got the Queen of Hearts. And we've got the King of Clubs. That's what was North got up there? Ace of Hearts. Um, not much in, in diamonds because the East has overcalled two diamonds. So North's got the Ace of Hearts. Probably something in spades, I suspect. So what have we got here? We've taken one trick. The king of clubs is two. Ooh. Uh, I still, I don't really want to lead spades or clubs because it's just, There's no rush. I mean, North East has got two hearts left, so I'm just going to play another heart. This may work out great later. Ace of diamonds. So East had four cards spade suit, I think. Oh, no, this is terrible. Oh, this is not good at all now. What's North doing up there? No, that's not good. That's not good. It's going to make... It's going to make... Well, it's going to make two. All right. Yeah, North had a, East had a four card heart suit, so this is this didn't turn out well. Okay, now in a way, okay, this was disaster. Let's see what everyone else is doing. I'm really on form tonight, aren't I? Um, so what I'm what I was sort of worried about is if I bid, if I defended two diamonds and it made, I was going to get a bad score anyway, which I may well have done. The fact that I've doubled. What I was thinking was that um, if I double, I'm going to get a bad score anyway, 30%, 20% or something. So the fact that I get almost 0% on the hand is uh, kind of no big deal. I was never going to get to be able to play in two clubs. Uh, if they had gone down, then I would have got a great score. So that's why, that's my logic behind it. And unfortunately... Um, there's really not a heck of a lot we can do about it. I mean, the North's, we're going to get a couple of diamond tricks, a, a spade, two clubs, heart, diamond. Yeah, we were never going to beat that. So, all right, uh, there we go. Let's play hand three. We got some, we got some catching up to do tonight <laughs> after the first two boards. Okay, 11 high card points, and it's not a great suit. Singleton, Queen of Diamonds, so this is not uh, not 
great. Maybe not vulnerable, I'd do something, but here I'm just going to pass. If the Queen of Diamonds had been the Queen of Spades, then, yeah, that would have been a bit better. But Singleton Queen is no good. And, yeah, I could bit a spade now. But I'm just going to go quiet. Let's see what happens. Two diamonds. Kind of glad I didn't bid spades. Pass, pass, pass. Well, let's bang down the ace of clubs and see what happens. Look at those diamonds. Gosh, east and west have got a big diamond fit. Get a couple of club tricks. Um... I think I probably, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to play the king of clubs and find out that East has got the jack of clubs, and, and in which case she can throw away one of her losing hearts. On the other hand, I don't really want to, I'm not that keen on playing a heart in case um, uh, maybe East has got king jack of hearts and gets to throw away the losing club. So I want to try a heart, hopefully get a, heart trick set up before oh, North had that so let's play hope to get that heart trick and at least we got it so we're kind of stuck now um, I could play a spade North's got no spades left but North is East so we're kind of done. We've got no more tricks unless something weird happens. There's really nothing to do. All right, so there are the east-west hands. Kind of glad I didn't get too high in uh, spades. Hearts might have been okay, but it's not It's not awesome. Uh, actually, hearts would have been pretty good, actually. Playing some heart, heart score would have been okay there. Uh, but still, it's, that's fine. We... Not really any sensible way for us to get into the auction there. Maybe north. Yeah, it's just nothing, nothing to do. All right, let's play hand four. Seven high card points. One heart. Hmm. Well. Again, this is another system thing, and um, if I double here, that will be, the North will take that as a penalty double, I suspect. So these things are a bit subtle. Uh, if I were playing with a regular partner, I would certainly play double here as takeout because East and West have got a trump fit, and it's just more useful to have doubling their low-level part scores as when they've got a trump fit as takeout. And I don't really mind if North bids hearts or bids spades or whatever. I just don't want to defend three diamonds particularly. So, um, especially with a big club fit our way. So, but I can't. I can't double because that's not part of the system that we've got available. So I've either got to bid my hearts again, which I'm not super keen on, um, or bid my clubs again, but I'm not super keen on going to the four level. So either one of those could be right. Um, at least I've got Queen Jack 10 of hearts and I'm at the three level. So I really don't love this. I don't love this auction at all. Um, and if I could make a takeout double, I would far rather do that. So we're just kind of guessing really. Okay, well, that was a 
bit of a lucky guess. What was that auction? A club, a heart, two diamonds. Yeah, to be honest, I think North should raise to two hearts on this hand. Play a club. Uh, I've only shown a four card heart suit when I bid one heart. I've only shown four. So North, think, North is thinking that uh, he's only got three and I've only shown four. So North's feeling bad about North doesn't want to support my hearts with only three of them. But to be honest, Ace, King and another one, uh, it's pretty good heart support. So if I had been North, I would certainly have bid two hearts here. Uh, some sophisticated partnerships also from the North seat would double that two diamond bid to show partial heart support. That's another quite common um, uh, technique. Uh, so many times in low level contracts, doubles for takeout are a, a more helpful way to go. So again, North, let's, let's just remember that when I bid one heart, I'm only showing four and North only had three. So he was nervous about supporting the hearts, but I think he was too nervous. Ace King, another, that would be, that's okay to bid um, two hearts. Now here we are in three hearts. We've got, it's not, and this isn't super great in a way because um, uh, oh, spade, well, still not super great. Now, with these diamonds, what can happen here? If I, I can rough this and draw trumps, maybe, and set up the club suit, but if clubs don't break or trumps don't break, it's going to be awful. Uh, the opposition are just going to keep playing diamonds, and I'm going to run out of, run out of um, trumps pretty quickly. So no really a lot I can do about it. I can, I mean, I could, I could switch to clubs now and that the opposition is still going to play diamonds at me. Um, the only maybe, maybe uh, East is going to run out of diamonds. So I'm going to rough. I'm going to play some clubs. Oh, shoot. West had no clubs. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only got seven tricks. I only got seven tricks, two off, and vulnerable is awful. So all I'm trying to do now, this is just another disaster. This has not been my night. Uh, we're in deep trouble now. We're in three hearts and we're vulnerable. So if I go down two, I'm going to be minus 200. There's no way I'm making this contract. Is there any way I can get away from minus one? Can I get away for down one? Unlikely. Uh, yeah, maybe West has got no hearts left. I doubt it. I can cross Trump, but it still leaves me tricks short, unfortunately. You just have to hope North's got no... Sp oh... Okay, well, we have a faint chance of getting away for... Well, actually, no, we're pretty good now. Okay, so we're going to get away for one down. East misdefended there by not giving uh, West another heart rough. So we end up with a good score, but we... Uh, East, East could have given... West another club rough and I would have been down two which would have been a terrible score um, but okay so I guess the interesting the interesting um, takeaway from this hand is halfway through the hand having
bang down the ace of clubs in the middle of the hand. I really messed up. I mean, that just didn't work out at all well. So at that time, I kind of had to readjust my target. And my target was no longer to make the contract. The target was to avoid going two down and only go one down because two down would be a disaster. One down still might have been okay. So that was what I was thinking. We ended up down one, and indeed that turned out to be an excellent score, 94%. So it sort of went how I planned, but uh, it wasn't because I did anything great. It was just because East misdefended on the hand. Still, it's a good lesson, isn't it? When when you're in, you know, when things are really looking awful, one down can still be a good target. You can still get a good score going one down. Two down vulnerable is just horrible. Anyway, okay, so some tricky hands tonight. We, we've... Um, uh, yeah, some tricky hands. Never give, up, never give up is the lesson, yeah. And don't, you know, making your contract isn't the only thing that we need to be thinking about. Just getting as many tricks as we can um, is what we should be trying to do. Uh, in fact, to be honest, I think this is a mistake people make with Bridge is that whatever the contract is, people think, well, that's what we've got to get. But if you can make your contract, then you've got to be trying to get over tricks. They're important. And if you can't make your contract, you've got to avoid under tricks. So in a sense, aiming to make your contract is seldom the right thing to do in a funny sort of way. The more a better mindset is to always make as many tricks as I possibly can, regardless of whether I make the contract or not. Okay, seven, eight, nine, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten high card points. So I'm going to bid two clubs here. Anyway, like I said on the last hand, it wasn't because I did anything great. Uh, East certainly messed up there. All right, one spade, two clubs, two diamonds. So uh, my point range is about right for two no trumps here. I've got 10, 11 points. So that's about two no trumps. But I do like this hand. King, Jack, 10, 9, 7, 5 of clubs. I potentially have a good source of tricks here. So uh, I don't want to stop in 2-0 trumps. I'm going to bid 3-0 no trumps. I never like stopping in 2-0 no trumps anyway. I'm a 1-0 no trump, 3-0 no trump person. Uh, yeah, no, this isn't good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, the... Where clubs are all blocked up. So, no, nah, we got trouble on this hand too. Gee. All right, so we've got two heart tricks. We've got a... I mean, I can play a heart, play a club, but I'm never going to get back to the be able to run the club suit. So... So you see my problem here. So after that heart lead, I win the jack of hearts. I play the ace of clubs, the only entry to my hand is the ace of hearts, and I can play the king of clubs, which is four tricks, that's great, but unless the queen of clubs drops, I've got no more entry to the um, south hand. So I'm actually just going to... Oh, king of hearts. Well, that's good in a sense. That at least gives us three heart tricks. So three heart tricks... A diamond is four. A club is five. Uh, I, I kind of, I mean, I can go to the club, back to the heart, king of clubs. But I'm more inclined to play spades. If West has got the ace of spades, then I'm going to be able to play a spade to the king Ace of clubs, back to the jack of hearts, king of clubs, and play another spade towards the queen. So that'll start to get us close. So let's try that. All right. Okay. Now we're looking a bit better. So now we can play. Uh, we've got two tricks. So ace of king of clubs is four. Uh, two heart tricks is six. Ace of diamonds is seven. Ace of queen of spades is eight. We're getting pretty close if the... Um, 
if West has got the ace of spades, if spades break, we're looking pretty good here. So let's play ace of clubs. Yeah, let's just hope the spades break. Or the king or the queen of clubs might come down. Nope. All right. So now I'm going to play a spade towards the queen. I can play another club, but then the opposition are just going to keep playing hearts, and I've got no entry back to my hand. So I've got to abandon the that suit, and we're just going to hope spades break. Mm, it really doesn't matter here. So we've got eight tricks. If spades break, we're good to go. Spades break. Look at that. So we're going to end up with um, nine tricks. Uh, quick jack of clubs is set up, but West knows that I've got no entry to the tape to the south hand, so it's quite safe for West to throw that card. And heart left from West. All right, okay, so we needed a little, uh, needed things to go our way a little bit. Um, that club suit in the end was not a source of tricks because of that heart lead. Now, interesting, isn't it? Had the heart lead was kind of annoying because if West hadn't led a heart, I'd be able to play the ace of clubs first cross to the jack of hearts, play the king of clubs and another club, setting up the club suit, and that heart would still have been an entry. So uh, the heart suit was kind of annoying. Um, jack of diamonds was not an entry. You know, because if I play low to the jack, it loses to the king. I can play. There's, there's no. I just. There's no entry with the jack of diamonds. I can play ace of diamonds and another diamond. West wins the king, but then I've only got the jack left. So, no. The the diamond. There's no chance of that jack of diamonds. If I play diamonds myself, there's no. There's no way that I can make that jack of diamonds win a trick. Uh, David's saying start with a 10. Yeah. Maybe. Only if you can see all four hands. Only if you could see all four hands would you play that way. So it's, it's true. I mean, if I play the 10 and that does become an entry. But if I play the 10 and, and East wins the Queen, for example... Now what? Do I play a diamond to the duck around of diamonds, just hope that West has doubled and king of diamonds? Or do I play the 10, which loses, and then play low playing the jack? So, yeah, David, you're right, but we would need to be able to see all four hands in order to play that way. And I can't see all four hands. <laughs> Right, had six, six, seven, eight, nine high card points. That's a pass. One club, one spade. All right, so this is, uh, I, I've got a couple of things I could do here. I could bid a no trump because I've got pretty balanced hand, six, seven, eight, nine high card points. So my strength is right for a no trump. My spades are good for one no trump. That'd be fine. The other thing I could do is make a negative double. So double here, which is, uh, again, it's a negative double is just a takeout double, asking North to bid something. And most of the time when I make a negative double, I'm telling partner I've got a four-card heart suit. Now, why can't I just bid two hearts immediately myself? Well, North will expect me to have a stronger hand going to the two level. So either negative double here is fine or one no trump. I'm just going to bid a no trump. Um, hands pretty flat. I've got the spades well stopped. This is, I'm happy with a no trump. Three clubs, three no trumps. West is going to lead a spade. We're going to make six club tri Oh, seven, look at all those clubs. 
Uh, okay, so uh, West didn't lead a spade, and West was quite right not to lead a spade. So let's just look at the auction. One club, one of Trump, three clubs. That no, sorry, I've shown you the north hand already. I imagine you can't see the north hand. Just look at the auction. That queen eight two of clubs. There's going to be great cards for no trumps because North jumped to three clubs, showing a good six card suit, and we've got queen eight two. So there's a very good chance that we're going to get six club tricks. Um, because of that Queen of Clubs and North's bid. Now, we can see, in fact, that North had a seven-card club suit, so that's uh, that's even better. But, um, yeah. but still, the Queen of Clubs is a really useful card here uh, because it's in partner's suit. So we've got seven club tricks. Uh, Ace of Diamonds is eight. We've got two spade tricks for ten. Can we get any more? Probably not. I mean, they're just going to, they're just going to, as soon as we lose the lead, we're going to lose all those um, diamonds. We could play the ace of diamonds and run off all the clubs and see what happens, or we could, um, we could duck a diamond and maybe the defense will make a mistake and switch to another suit. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to believe that west will switch here but stranger things have happened <laughs> there you go all right awesome oh okay oh, oh, good 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 all right so that's better we're going to make okay well i was not expecting that jack to hold. So we've actually got the rest of the tricks. How about that? Actually, I'm not sure. I should, I, to be honest, I think I probably should have just run off all the clubs anyway. We ended up with 11, but we always had 10 tricks. The contract was in no danger. We always had 10 tricks. Seven clubs, a diamond is eight. And the ace king of spades is 10. So 10 was no problem. Uh, I, I think I, in retrospect, I probably would have just run the club suit and, and seen what happens. Although it was only because um, East and West gave me a trick that we got 11 tricks here. I mean, they sort of needed to give me a trick anyway. I needed them to make a mistake. The question was, what mistake will they make? And there we go. All right, so let's, let's uh, don't worry too much about the play. It was a bit, bit of nonsensical play here. Most important thing is on that auction, something I always talk about, well, something I often talk about, Points in our partner's suit are always going to be good. So the Queen of Clubs here, North bid one club, three clubs. All of a sudden, that Queen of Clubs is a super good card. It's worth more than two points. And we can see how awesome it made the uh, North's clubs there. So, yeah, points, when we're looking at our points, six, seven, eight, nine of them, um, it's just not possible to... If you evaluate solely on points, you normally miles off. Um, Queen of Clubs, really good card. The 10 nine of spades, they weren't on this hand, but the 10 nine of spades, potentially really good cards. Uh, so, yeah, you can't just you can't just add your points up and say, well, this is how many points I've got. You've always got to be sort of adjusting a bit. And there's no rule to it. You just, you know, just adjust. Be comfortable with upgrading and downgrading, I guess. Right, 10, 11, and that's a pass. Shape, SB, yep. Um, shape, where your points are, all those things really, they all make a big difference. All right, a diamond, a heart. So North's got a five-card heart suit. This is a pretty good hand. Uh, 
Now, again, this is a system thing. So uh, brand new players here would might bid three hearts to show decent hand and, and a heart fit. Uh, but a jump to three hearts in a competitive auction, many players play that as just a sort of like a preempt, a competitive bid. So one heart, if I bid three hearts here, very common way to play that is that it shows a four card heart suit. So that gives us a nine card fit. And it's not showing a good hand. It's just um, bouncing, getting the auction a bit higher. So what do I do with this hand? Well, again, the sophisticated partnerships here might bid two diamonds. The West's, West bid one diamond. So, uh, you know, if I was playing with a guy I played with last week, for example, if I bid two diamonds here, he would know that I had a heart suit and a heart support and a good hand. But we don't have that, um, uh, we don't have that gad gadgetry available. It's okay. We can get by perfectly well just by playing bridge. So I like this hand. I think it's a great hand. I could hardly be worse. I've got some, I've got 11 points. I've got the 10 of clubs could be a good card. I've got a doubleton diamond. The jack of hearts is one point, right? A jack is one point. But what do you guys reckon? Is that jack a good jack or a bad jack? Should we downgrade that check or should we upgrade that check? I don't think the jack's worth one point. And I don't think the jack of spades is worth one point either. SP's going up. Q's going up. And I agree. The jack of hearts in partner suit is a good card. The Jack of Diamonds would have been a terrible card because that's West suit. But the Jack of Hearts is really going to help North's heart suit. The Jack of Spades is also a good card because it's in, it's working with the Ace, Queen, and Jack. So we've got a couple of spade tricks there, maybe three with a Jack of Spades. So those two Jacks are really good cards. So here I'm going to bid four hearts. Not sophisticated, but there we go. And we have two diamonds, and we're probably going to make. Uh, we've got two diamonds to lose. We may have a spade to lose if the spade finesse doesn't work, which it probably won't. But if once I lose a spade, I'm going to be able to throw away one of North's losing clubs on the second spade. And East and West aren't really going to be able to attack the club suit themselves without giving up a trick. Oh, actually, really good hand, very instructive hand about points. If I had ace, look at the North clubs, ace, nine, five, and the South clubs, king, ten, six, two. Those, the ten and nine are super, super good cards here because it means that East and West can't attack the club suit easily. If I had ace three, two of clubs and king six, five, four of clubs, then the opposition could easily play clubs and set up a, a club trick quickly. But uh, my clubs are good. So this hand, you know, the jack of hearts is good. The jack of spades is good. The nine of clubs is good, and the ten of clubs is good. All those little cards have been uh, really good for us on this hand. And West has uh, declared has basically given up here. So we can, I don't, is any chance West has got singleton, king of club five, six, seven, eight? Okay, what happened on the first trick? Ace, king, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I think West has got the King of Spades, hasn't he? What did East lead? I was too busy talking. Somebody tell me what was the what was the play to the first trick? East led a diamond. West played Ace Queen of Spades or something. Ace Queen of Diamonds. Can anybody remember? Tell me what the play to the first two tricks was. I just don't think East has got the King of Spades because if West had 
Uh, I suppose West could still have seven points, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we, I don't think East has got the I don't think East has got the King of Spades. So I'm sort of tempted just to play the Ace of Spades in case West has got the Singleton King. But uh, oh, Rhonda saying Ace Queen of Diamonds. Thank you, Rhonda. Awesome. Right. So where's the King of um, Where's the King of Diamonds? If West plays the Ace and then the Queen, who's got the King? Oh, thanks, Barry. Also, thank you, Barry. Appreciate that. So where's the King of Diamonds? East has got it, right? Because if, if West had ace, king, queen, she wouldn't have played that way. So East has got the king of diamonds. So if East has got the king of diamonds and the king of spades, uh, she would have done something or West wouldn't have had enough to bid. So West has almost certainly got the ace of spades. So there's not much point in taking a spade finesse. I'm actually going to play the ace of spades just in case, just in case, um, West has got the singleton king. Unlikely, unlikely, but there you go. Now my last club uh, goes on the jack of spades. So we've got uh, queen of hearts, uh, nine of hearts, ace of clubs, and two tricks at the end. Okay, there wasn't much chance that West was going to have Singleton King, but there was no chance that East was going to have the King. All right, there we go. Right, let's play hand uh, eight. 10, 13 high card points. Oh, sorry, Barry. Thanks. One spade. My bid here. So because I'm playing Akol, uh, North may only have a four-card spade suit. Probably five. It normally is, but it might only be four. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to bid two clubs here. Uh, bidding my lower ranking four-card suit. Just see what North does. Two hearts. All right, we have a heart fit. And... Uh, I'm just going to bid four hearts now. I've got enough for game. If I bid four hearts, it's not a sign off because North's still got another chance to bid. And if I bid like this, North knows that I've got a, enough to go to game. So I'm telling North, yeah, North's opened the bidding, showing 12, and I've jumped a game. So North knows I've got 13. If North's got a super good hand, there's nothing to stop North from bidding again. I'm simply showing that I'm telling North I've got 13 points and four card heart suit. So it's up to North to go further. I kind of, I'm not super keen on the hand. I like the ace queen of hearts, given that North's bid hearts. I don't like the fact that I've got three small spades. So North's got a five card spade suit. And I've got three small. So I don't have anything to help North uh, establish that spade suit. Uh, king of clubs instead of the king of spades instead of the king of clubs would have been better. Or ace of spades instead of the ace of diamonds would have been better. Uh, I suspect we'll find there's some work to do in the spade suit. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so interesting. Uh, worthwhile just focus. focus focusing on this for a second. Now, because North has got ace, king, nine, seven, six, and I've got three small, that's bad. We're going to lose a spade trick. And we're going to lose one club trick. We might lose something else. But we're going to lose a spade and we're going to lose a club. That's two tricks. If I could give away the king of clubs, I don't need the king of clubs. I'm still only going to lose one club trick. King of clubs is kind of useless to me. Three points, but I lose one club trick whether or not I've got the king of clubs. Take away the king of clubs and swap it for the queen of spades. Okay. I, I give you the queen of, I give the 
the opposition, the king of clubs, and they give me the queen of spades. That seems like a pretty good deal for them because they're getting a king and they only have to give me a queen. So how about it, East-West? What do you think? Well, if they're smart, they'll say no because the queen of spades for me would have been a really, really, really good card. And it's all just the stuff we're talking about. We want points in partner suit, not ours. Having said that, we might get away with this because we can actually play three rounds of diamonds, throwing away one of our spades. Let's... Uh, let's uh, let's play one round of hearts um, i'm gonna oh i don't like it. that ten of hearts is a bit scary i'm gonna play ace of diamonds hmm. worried about that uh, ten of hearts to be honest i'm worried that hearts aren't going to break Hearts don't break. This could go horribly wrong. Uh, I sort of, I kind of like to play. My problem is if I play the Queen of Hearts, if hearts don't break and spades don't break, this could be bad, but let's do this anyway. I'm just going to, yeah, hearts don't break, so that's not good. So we've got to switch to spades now and hope that spades break. They do, so we're going to be okay. We can throw away a spade. We can now we can rough the spade. Well, we don't. We could have roughed a spade, and we would have just lost a heart and a club. But in fact, the same things. It still comes to the same thing, whether or not West roughed. So now we're good to go. We've got two spades and a heart left. Yeah, so uh, yes, the Queen of Spades would have been good, would have made it a lot easier. We, we were, because, um, like Barry says, said there, we were able to discard one of those spades, so kind of worked out okay. Uh, but it doesn't take away, doesn't, uh, don't let that detract from the point that points in partner suit are good. The King of Clubs on this hand was completely useless. Heck, um, in fact, another useful card, I would have given away the King of Clubs and returned for the Jack of Hearts, right? Opposition, I give you the King, you give me a Jack. Sounds like a good deal for them, but the Jack of Hearts is far, far more useful than the King of Clubs because the Jack of Hearts is in our suit, not their suit. Always, 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 we want points in our suit, not their suit. Uh, what have we got there? Uh, 14. In fact, in, uh, someone I, I've heard people say, anytime you've got an honour card in partner's suit, add a point. Anytime you've got an honour card in the opposition suit, subtract a point. You could do that if you wanted to. I don't, I'm not super keen on those. I'm rather kind of keep it a bit looser, but the concept is great. Right, one no trump we are in, which doesn't look super fancy to me. Doesn't look super great. Ace, queen, 10, 9, 8. East has got one card. I mean, East may have a singleton queen of diamonds or singleton. Uh, East, well, it won't be singleton. Uh, let's just play low and see what happens. Ten, yeah. So West has got uh, Ace Queen Nine Eight of Diamonds. I suspect. I suspect. I could have perhaps won the Jack of Diamonds, but the problem is, as soon as East gets the lead, he's going to play a diamond through. So I don't think it makes much difference. So that's one trick. Got two club tricks, so that's three. We got a spade trick, is four. Nothing looks terribly great, does it? 
And as soon as I lose the lead, they're just going to play all those diamonds. There's nothing I can do about it. They're just going to take all those diamonds. I could play, try playing a heart to the king here and hope West has got the ace of hearts. But I'm still going to lose all those diamonds. And if East has got the ace of hearts, it's just truly awful. So to be honest, what I really want to do in this hand is just let them give them their diamonds and let them do something. Yeah, this, this might not work, but I'm just going to go. Oh, I know he said it. I'm just going to give them their diamonds and let them do something, lead something to me. Right. Uh, I guess I can pitch. So West had ace diamonds, East had queen of diamonds. Don't really want to throw a club from my hand. That's my length trick there. So I'm going to throw a heart from my hand. I'm not super keen on leading a spade. I guess I can pitch a club from here. Let's do that. This way I retain the length in both my suits. And East has thrown a club there, right? On the last trick. Now there's a chance we may end up with a club trick. West had four diamonds. Sort of tempted to just play three rounds of clubs and do the same thing. Let's try this again. Let's go king. All right, so now my six of clubs is set up. That's good. So we're up to... Uh, We're up to three. We've got the club is four. We've got the spade is five. I could try the king here, but I'm a little bit, I'm more inclined just to play low again and see what happens. Oh, looking good, looking good. Oh, looking really good. So we can duck this. And now we have, well... Nine of spades. Now we've got the rest. So we win the ace of spades. Play club throwing a heart. Cross to the king of hearts. And we've got the queen of spades. Cool. All right. We snuck in there. Uh, very happy that I did not play a heart to the king. That would have been awful. Then I would have lost three heart tricks and three diamond tricks and what have you. Uh, so this is a strategy that works quite well sometimes, and, and no trump. It's, uh, you've really got to be not afraid to just play. I reckon it's like playing ping pong. You keep keep giving the lead back and forth, and it can sometimes you just it's better just to wait for the tricks to come to you. And sometimes you just bamboozle the opposition so much, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so I mean, if you're going to lose a whole bunch of tricks anyway, just lose them now and let them come to you. You know, like, come to me, come to me. <laughs> right, oh, let's play next hand. 10. 14, 15 high card points. So I'm playing Akol here again. So uh, for the standard players, you're going to open a no trump on this hand, one no trump, 15 to 17 balanced. I'm I'm going to call this 15. I'm going to give myself an upgrade. So what are we doing here? 14 points. Hang on. So, uh, what am I talking about? Sorry, forget, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. Forget it. I'm off with the fairies. Um, yeah, it is 15. <laughs> Sorry, forget it. I'm just having a head's head gone into out of space there for a second. So, no, uh, I, what I was meaning was I've got 15 high card points, but it's a good 15 because I've got a five card suit and I've got the 10 nine of clubs there, good cards. Nine of diamonds is okay. 
But for me, it's sort of 15 and a little bit more than just 15. So I'm playing alcohol. I'm too strong for one no trump. And so open a diamond. North bids two hearts, and North will have a five card heart suit here because remember a few hands ago we were talking about a negative double. So one diamond, one spade. If North had a four card heart suit, he would have made a negative double, showing four card heart suit. The fact that he's bid two hearts means that he's got a five card heart suit. So no problem here. I can simply support the hearts with three of them. North will certainly have a five card suit. And North thinks that's high enough. It's probably right. The jack of spades is, well, as it happens, depending. Well, actually, the jack of spades ended up to be quite a good card in this hand. I think, yeah, we get. Well, because of that Queen of Spades lead. All right, so it looks like West has got a six-card heart suit. If East had three to the Queen, Queen and two other ones, then she would have led a small spade from a three-card suit, even though it's West suit. So the fact that she's led the Queen means she's almost certainly got a doubleton spade, and therefore West has got six. Heart suit isn't much, isn't so great there, is it? So potentially we have a spade, we might have a diamond to lose, and we may have, we've certainly got one heart, we may have two hearts to lose. So we've got, our, got a bit of work to do here. Okay, so what we can do here is, uh, I don't think East has got any spades left. So let's look at the other suits. So suppose I play the Ace King of Hearts. This is a good uh, sort of visualization thing. Suppose I play the Ace King of Hearts and everybody follows suit. So that means that there would only be one heart left. And normally, if there's only one heart left and it's or one trump left and it's the best trump, no point in playing it. Just leave it. But in this case, if I play three rounds of hearts, ace, king, ace of hearts, king of hearts, another heart, if East gets the lead, then East is kind of stuck. East is going to have to either lead a club or a diamond, which will give me a free finesse there. Just have to hope it's East who's got the third heart. He does. All right, so here we go. East is going to win. East is, I don't, I don't think East has got any more spades left, so she's either going to have to lead a club or a diamond. Leads a club, so I can let that run around to the... Um, it wouldn't have made any difference. If West had played the queen, I could play the king. And it wouldn't have helped East to play a diamond because that would have I would have just let that run around to the jack of diamonds. So that wins. Uh, king of clubs wins. King of Spades, we know, is already a winner. And we can play. We don't need the Diamond Finesse now because we can play Ace, King, and Ace of Clubs throwing away the Diamond. Well, the Diamond ended up being a winner anyway. So we end up making a pretty easy 11 tricks because we were able to uh, end play um, East. Now, the end play thing, you know, sounds like something really fancy and there's all these books written about end plays and all the rest of it. But you don't need to be sort of, don't think they're anything special. Just uh, it's helpful to remember that when you're stuck for something to do, don't do anything. Just give the opposition the lead and so often it comes back to you with interest if you're not afraid to give it away, give it away, it'll come back to you. It's like love. <laughs> come give it away and it'll come back with, with interest. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will um, see you all next week.
Have a fun hands up to the rough start. Night all.